I was tested out one of uh, B&M's new rods. They came out with a catfish line of rods called uh, Silver Cat. And really hard to write a review or talk about it without actually going out and catching some fish. I was hoping for something really big, something, you know, well under the double digits. Didn't pull it off, but I did end up with several fish in the 7 to 9 pound range. And I started thinking about it. You know, a lot of folks are like me. They don't do a lot of catfishing, and uh, it's kind of a bycatch thing. When they do catch it, it's not that big. And they run into the situation when they do catch one that's larger, they, they realize you can't clean it like a smaller cat. Uh, the skin really sticks to the meat. It leaves a lot of fibrous tissue if you try to skin it like you do a normal cat, a smaller catfish. Um, and so I thought, well, maybe we ought to do a video showing how to clean these bigger cats and really maximize the amount of meat you get out of them. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of feel around here. I'm going to start making an incision right up at the top of the head there, as far up as you can get, try to get as much meat out. And I've got the blade running just right along the spine. And I'm just going to kind of work it down, going around that dorsal fin there. And I'm feeling the, the, uh, the rib cage the whole way down. I can feel the tip hitting it. And as I'm working my way down, getting towards the end there, all of a sudden I don't feel the tip hitting it anymore. I'm just going to separate the meat away. Okay, now I'm going to push the blade all the way through. I'm keeping it flat against the spine. And it's going to come out the bottom there. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to work it down. Just kind of ease it along, sliding it along the spine. And unlike the way I fillet other fish, I'm going to go ahead and just cut it off completely. Off of the body. Okay, I'm going to come up here, and I'm just going to kind of work the fillet down. Just kind of hitting the rib cage there. This is tough to video, by the way. I haven't figured out a good way to do it yet. So I'm doing the best I can. Alright, now I'm just kind of taking it down to the edge of the rib cage there. There's not a whole lot of meat on the rib cage, so you're not going to waste a whole lot. Okay, when I get it down there, I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off. I say I'm going to trim it off. And there you go pulled out a pretty good size fillet right there and right in here where I cut it off there is virtually no meat so you're not losing anything whatsoever. Okay in the interest of time I went ahead and filleted out uh, both sides there and what we're going to do now is just take the meat off the skin for this part you know I kind of like to use the Old Faithful here and just get enough down in here just start back a little bit just leave enough that you can get a hold of it get a grip on it and just kind of cut down Lay your blade down flat to the skin, and with any luck, it comes off nice and clean. I am not the greatest with a knife, I'll tell you that right now. A lot of guys out there are way better than me. So let's see how this works. Okay, with any luck, I didn't mess this one up too bad. Nope, there we go. That's what we're looking for. As you can see, really nothing left on the skin. Got a perfect fillet right there. And so now we're going to move on to the next part.